Let's go from Vicky Schialaro to uh, Trump spokesperson Betsy McConaughey uh, on uh, Don Lemon. And this is the woman who sunk uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton's health care plan, right? Oh, is she, is she actually woman? a spokesperson or is she just a, a writer? She is the one who came up with, yes, she is the one who came up with a series of lies about health care uh, over the years. But Apparently, she's branched out into uh, into music uh, critique. Here she is. Not especially on Friday and Saturday saying we can't support Donald Trump. You think they're already regretting it? Well, I think that they confirm the uh, impression of so many Americans that professional politicians are just like rats fleeing at the first sign of trouble. And that's exactly what they were. So they may be hurt by this. The we'll first see. sign of trouble? At right. the first sign of trouble. <laughs> the first sign. Right. Like, well, how many? How many times do we say it would be Honda? But I want you to make another point, Go too. Because I, I abhor lewd and body language. I don't listen to rap music. I don't like that kind of thing. But Hillary Clinton, when she expresses... Oh, wait, you said... Rude and body rap. Body music. language. I thought you said rap music. Body. I did. I mentioned rap music rap, because rap it's music. full of the F word, the P word, the the B word, the A word. The I don't all, think anybody. Listen, I gotta say, I don't think anybody likes that. But those people are not running for president. Yes, but I want you to point something out. Okay, go pause ahead. it for one second. That Hillary Clinton. I, I, it's amazing how nobody likes this stuff, but yet it sells. I mean, use so logic. Strange. I love it. So strange. I want to call her the A word and the P word and the B word. Unbelievable. But let's let, let Betsy has a point she really wants to, to, to make here. The A word, the. I don't all, think anybody, those... listen, I gotta say, I don't think anybody likes that, but those people are not running for president. Yes, but I wanted to point something out. Okay, go ahead. And which is that Hillary Clinton expresses that she finds the language on that bus horrific, but in fact, she likes language like this quote, I came to slay, bitch. When he F me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Did she say that? That, that happens to oh, be a Beyonce line from Beyonce. That. Yeah, I know. That's Her Beyonce's. Her favorite performer, whom she says she idolizes and would like to imitate. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying to you? There's a lot of hypocrisy okay. in Hillary no. Clinton expressing such horror. Okay, Betsy. <laughs> wow. You know, when Don Lemon can dismiss you and own you that easily. I really honestly think you got to be looking for a different career. <laughs> Don Levin laughed in her face. <laughs> <laughs> he's like an Eddie Murphy character from SNL, <laughs> and he's sitting there <laughs> laughing in your face. <laughs> I, like, can we play that just that part of where she's reading the Beyonce lyrics again? Because that's just too rich. Incredible. You said rap music. I did. I mentioned rap music rap, because rap it's music. full of the F word, the P word, the the B word, the A word. The I don't all, think anybody. Listen, I gotta say, I don't think anybody likes that. But those people are not running for president. Yes, but I wanted to point something out. Okay, go ahead. And which is mm, that I've Hillary Clinton expresses that she finds the language on that bus horrific. But in fact, she likes language like this, quote, I came to slay, bitch. When he F me good, I take his ass to Red Lobster. Did she say that? That, that happens to be oh, a Beyonce line from Beyonce. That. Yeah, I know. That's Her Beyonce's. Her favorite performer. That's what she said after the wow. first debate with Trump when she was getting back on the bus, actually. <laughs> unbelievable. Just Unbelievable. <laughs> I forgot to turn on my IM. I'll, I'll, I'll fire up the oh, IM right now. That's one of the best segments I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, I want this campaign to end. No. But, you know, I, I, are we going to not have stuff like this? That's what I mean. Sometimes I want it to go on for another six months. That would actually be great. Another six months of those clips. It's and unbelievable and Obama's still watching president. them try to. And the thing is, is like. The, the 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 fact that you know we've got Donald Trump out there you know talking about Chappaquiddick and you know bringing up Sidney Blumenthal not once but twice during the debate like understand how many people watched the debate do we know the numbers yet was it like 70 million 70 on the first right 70 on the first let's just say it was i don't know 50 50 million 70 million 60 million 
Do you know the number of people probably who know who Cindy Blue uh, Cindy Blumenthal is? Forty million. Only, <laughs> only those people who are spending their time listening to Mark Levin, or and, and maybe it's a couple million, maybe it's five. I don't know, but everybody else is just like, "What are you talking about?" He's a big league bad Jew. <laughs> big league. They. He, he, I, I mean, I just keep thinking about that time where. I think it was before you guys. Was it before you guys here where we had that Dana Loach uh, uh, quote? That was around the same time because we were at least still talking about it when we were here. And uh, she said, like, you know, to one of her guests, like, I I'm surprised they haven't Vince Fostered you yet. And I had to explain to you guys, like, who Vince Foster was and all this. Like, they don't get that America doesn't know who they're talking about. It's like the whole Saul Alinsky thing, but Sidney Blumenthal is actually probably less relevant. And so it's I, not I a historical figure. Saul Alinsky, you could argue, is a, is a sort of historically relevant sort of transcendent figure. Sidney just, Blumenthal is a currently alive like advisor and journalist. But nobody calls Sean Hannity. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over, Subscri subscribe.